is somewhere in here. Absolutely. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> this is where I've ended up. <laughs> it's a bit like putting it's marvellous. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh. You can see a Margaret Thatcher, fragile, handled with care. That was a bit of luck. <laughs> Like a nightmare. Oh, it's her. <laughs> I, I recognise her from wrist. the back. Yeah, she's got her face down. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that's it. That's the old girl. To those waiting with bated breath for that favourite media catchphrase, the U turn, I have only one thing to say U turn if you want to. The lady's not for turning. Mrs. Thatcher lives in here, and so I've actually got to climb in here. Ah. Now, to save space, I just keep them in here. Um, it does mean that every time I do use them, I've got to... Um, I've got to get the iron out because, you know, this is the evening frock. Now, the tonight is more informal than that. It's quiz night, so it's not really a... You see, that does need a bit of an iron, doesn't it? Uh, she lost a lot of weight, actually. Uh, when she started going to all those European dinners in the first couple of years of her premiership, she put on a lot of weight and she became quite fat. And then in the Falklands, when the Falklands happened, she lost everything. And then from then on, she knew how to keep relatively thin. But I think all those European dinners mm. made her quite chubby. I'm just about holding on here. <laughs> so, oh, uh, you see now, you see that, that looks wrong. It looks too tight, does that, doesn't it? I've not worn this for so many years. Uh, that looks far too tight. I have these, which is, I've got some comedy books on Margaret Thatcher, which Spitting Image created. We always said that in 1987, we had more people watching our show than voted for the Conservative government. So, you know, we had more votes than she did. In a, well, it wasn't votes, but you know what I mean. And we had these, these were wonderful creations. And Roger Law, the creator of Spitting Image, or one of the creators with Peter Flock, was an old socialist and didn't want to make money. So when Spitting Image started, unlike The Simpsons or The Moppets or anything like that, he did not want any um, toys, he didn't want any, um, you know, cheap games. He, he, and, but somebody came up to him and said, we'd like to make um, some doggy chews of Mrs Thatcher. And these were meant to be thrown at your dog, sort of biting... So that's what they were there. And actually, quite a few of them have survived because most people bought them as ornaments as opposed to, to dogs. But I think several people did buy them. You, you had to go into a pet shop to buy You couldn't buy them in any shop. You had to go into a pet shop to buy them. So that was typical of what Roger did. The plan was that at some point, if she mentioned things like jobs or employment, whatever, um, just start shouting, fight for the right to work, or Tories out, we want jobs or something. That was me. Nevertheless, nevertheless, never mind, it's wet outside. I expect they wanted to come in. It was a bit nerve-wracking, I, I seem to remember. <laughs> and the steward sort of knocked me over. Flannel, flannel, smug, self-satisfied, but caring voice and considerate voice. Hospitals, closures, unemployed dead people. Triumphant climax crescendo, third term, third Reich next election. Rising to faking orgasm voice, about as convincing as my caring voice. Get ready to stand, I want at least ten minutes. Thank you for that. I mean, the whole thing, you know, when you see her speech, I think that one of the things that the spitting image does is show that's probably more like Thatcher really is in person, that sort of persona on the stage in the conference, that sort of very measured, slow delivery was something she learned, you know, and she probably even had the asides scripted just in case. When people ask about the jewel king, the repunt 
from the EEC, the unions and why I want to ban them. Terwijl menig een in de vroege jaren tachtig werkloos raakte door de regering Thatcher, dankte Steve Nellen zijn baan juist aan de Iron Lady. Twaalf jaar lang was hij de stem van Thatcher in de razend populaire satirische BBC-show Spitting Image. This doesn't come out much except for Mrs. Thatcher. I think this is the one I'll wear tonight. There, there used to be a an impressionist on British television called Mike Yarwood, who famously did lots of people, um, political people. And he tried to do Margaret Thatcher and he couldn't. So I remember it very well. I'd been about 14 or 15. And I don't know, I just, after he'd finished, I just got a mirror out, because he was looking myself in the mirror. And there she had a very much higher voice in those days, much posher. And I don't know, it just weird. Do you remember that film Alien, where the, the monster just pops out? <laughs> it was a bit like that. She just sort of popped out. I didn't even practice. It just sort of happened. I went into school the next day. So I began talking like this and... Uh, do you sound like Mrs Thatcher? Yes. But I started probably doing her um, semi-professionally when I was 17, when she was still leader of the opposition. I didn't dress up or do anything. I just, um, all I did do was, she was part of the act, but because I come from Leeds and Yorkshire very sort of, and a very working class community, and the Northern clubs were very anti-Mrs Thatcher and anti-conservative, they loved it because I made fun of her. But I never anticipated it would, be, it would last for so long, but she bought me a house and a nice living, so I can't really complain. Perhaps we can get on with the nasty business of the unemployment statistics. Now, five years ago, I asked you all to have a look at them at home and bring along any ideas. Jeffrey, let's hear yours, shall we? I did do them honestly, but I left them on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Thatcher had a voice like a nanny. Now, don't do that. Don't stand over there. Don't pick your nose. Don't do that with your foot. Leave Julie alone. She doesn't want her pigtails pulling. And she's got that voice that is constantly telling you off. So even if she's been very nice, it's lovely to see you. You've done a very, very good job. It's still got a tone in it that is actually sort of da 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 And it's, it, that's the way she speaks. She can't help it. And one of my theories about Mrs Thatcher, in the context of her own ministers, all of whom were very well off people, all of whom would have had nannies. And I think they were terrified of her because they reminded her, them of their nannies. Norman, I distinctly saw your lips move. If you've got something to say, you can say it to the whole cabinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Norman. Speak up, man, for God's sake. Say what you mean, you're not on the platform now. <coughs> Nigel pinched my pen. Nigel, is this true? Cabinet. What do we call it when people go around stealing other people's property? Uh, you! A, a free market economy? Rubbish! <laughs> what do we call it, David? Socialism. We had the 30th anniversary of um, the spitting image a few months ago, and there was somebody in the audience who put their hand up and said, I was unemployed back in the 1980s. And he, and he basically said, I was... There were some weeks I was almost suicidal and he said there was one day I was going to actually kill myself and then I watched Spitting Image and on the Sunday night I went to bed happy and then the, up the next morning. Yeah. I, I was really quite moved by that actually. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. Now come on everyone, do hurry along. <whistles> Don't dawdle, Geoffrey. I'll send you to Northern Ireland. Places, everyone. Over here, Leon, down the front where I can see you. Ready? One, two, three. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? Louder? Come on, put Isn't some crumption into it. <laughs> oh, it's Dennis. it's Dennis. Just Dennis. I don't think there's anybody else. No, no, it's just Dennis. Do you want to take it out? Yeah, take, let's move it so we can... Oh, there she is. Oh. I can see her, Margaret Thatcher, fragile, handled with care. 
That was a bit of luck. <laughs> um, if we go round. Mm -hmm. Okay. This way? Yep. It's like Christmas. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Like a oh, it's a, <laughs> I, I recognise her from wrist. the back. <laughs> She's got her face down. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that's it. That's the old girl. So, all the sawdust is coming out. Oh, that's her sawdust. That's her sawdust. Oh, it is, yes. What you would do is you would have this connected here with that, and you'd take this off like that. If you can hold that. Thank you. But basically, my arm would go through here, well, like that. In this instance, it would in be this my arm, instance, yeah. Or your arm. So I would be up here, and the shoe would be played up here like that. And then I would, Sorry. to give him a cue, I would say, and we're yeah, now yeah. going to start talking. <laughs> and he would know, hopefully me well enough, to anticipate what was going to be said. But you've got three things to concentrate then on. The voice, the image, and if you were working with a script, the script. So you've suddenly got to be able to do sort of three things at once. Aren't you very clever? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like some sort of tomb raider. <laughs> you know, these, these haven't been seen for generations. It's not quite true, but you do feel slightly well, like a... Well, it's a generations, isn't it? It's a bit, a bit like a tomb. This is Dennis, who's Mrs Thatcher's husband. It is sweet, isn't it, to know that they are together. It is, <laughs> absolutely. It is, together in death. I think you should put them in the same box. Do you think so? Just, <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. No, we don't want any no, no, no hanky-panky going on. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the eyes to... Yeah, the eyes, eyes are working. Eyes are working, good. And you can see here the slit in this sleeve. No, this sleeve. is where this slit. So you do that. The sleeve. I put my hand through there, and then I would be wearing a glove. That's so. great. Actually. Oh, he was completely pissed all the time. Anybody got our gin? I've been dead for 15 years. I've not had a good stiff one. I mean, a proper gin, you know, the real thing. <laughs> Definitely Gordon's, without a doubt. Definitely Gordon's, Mark. Steve Nellen probeert zijn hoofd boven water te houden als stemacteur. En heel soms wordt hij nog gevraagd om een pubquiz te presenteren. Als de vrouw waar zijn hele carrière mee begon. Please welcome to the stage Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> 